Despite many of the Germans engaging in attempted random raids and failed sabotage, one German officer was actually carrying out Vorbrich's wishes of gathering intelligence. Lieutenant von Oppen of the 13th Feld Company Schutztrupp had set out from Himo and was finding a path for future operations in the Imzima Springs area. Unlike his peers, he didn't try to single-handedly bomb the Ugun Railroad with a small party. But he and his men weren't alone. Lieutenant H. H. Davies' Abyssinian Company of the 3rd King's African Rifles had been commanding a party of mounted infantry sweeping the Mzima Springs area for German activity, guided by a party of Maasai scouts. They had been on patrol for a week and were moving through the difficult terrain when Von Open laid an ambush. Firing through the grass, Davies' men were caught off guard. Not knowing where the shooting was coming from, the British mounted soldiers and their guides withdrew. Lieutenant Von Open was able to withdraw as well. While the attack didn't make the British leave the area, it was deemed untenable due to the litany of factors. The thick thorn brush wore the forces down over time. Testy flies were rampant among the mounts being used by the British. Thirdly, the Maasai guides wanted to retire back to their homes, seeing the British retreat from a German attack. For the remainder of the campaign, the Maasai would support sides with guides, porters with selling materials, and Vorbrick recalls an English Maasai say, It is all the same to us whether the English or the Germans are our masters. Despite falling back, the British African Distinguished Conduct Medal was awarded to Gazao Waldi Miram. Having already earned the award in the pre-war era, his award was given a bar. The defense of the area was rearranged to be taken up by B Company of the 1st King's African Rifles under Lt. R.C. Hardingham, building a post at Marabu and patrolling the Mzima area. Reporting back that the British forces were sparse and quick to flight, Lt. Von Open unlike his peers, completed his mission. With his intelligence, the next thrust was planned on the 3rd of September. 13th Feldkompanie's commanding officer, Hauptmann Schultz, took a column of the 1st and 13th Feldkompany, a force of around 220 men and four heavy machine guns, to attack the Tesevo River Bridge of the Ugandan Railroad. 